first one, a tough pointer on the road last Saturday. What were some of your takeaways from the performance in Portland? Yeah, I think it's the first time that we've gotten a result there. It's a really hostile environment. Tough place to get points. The overall mood after the game was, was quite positive. Obviously coming back and uh, rescuing a goal late on it was good for morale. It's always nice to uh, get the first of the year, and especially the first with the new club. I think we could have had three points, but um, to be able to walk away from Portland with something to show was, was good. It was just nice to be able to help the team. Defensively, we were quite sound. We, we adjusted a structure a little bit for that game and for that opponent, um, and I thought it was quite good. We, we were very strong in, in transition. We didn't give up much to uh, Portland, which was one of their strengths. The set pieces, again, I think it's an area that, that we have the numbers, we have the bodies in there, and um, we just have to deal with it better. You know, I think Brad on, on the second goal, we, we all could have done a bit better, but preventative goals. And from the offensive side, I thought it was, was really strong. Um, keeping the ball, moving the opponent, playing behind the line, finding Emmy and Rodney in good spots, but, but really getting good numbers in and around the box and, and, and challenging challenging the back line. Three teams in Texas, we're all fighting for our own space and for our own notoriety. You know, it comes with challenges. We were able to capture a big win against Dallas last year in the playoffs. That was our first win against them. So we put a lot into that. It meant a lot for us. And we'll need to have a similar approach. We'll have to be very disciplined, very organized, and, and know that we can hurt them as well. For Dallas, they are a... They're a very fluid, flexible team. I think they bring a lot of numbers in and around the first line to try to try to disorganize you, bring numbers up. Um, they have great speed with, with Paul Ariola and with, with Ferreira, who, who typically occupy the line, but they also come down low to create uncertainty. And, uh, you know, what they have is speed and verticality. And I, I think we have to be mindful of those things. So getting the balance right of being compact and disciplined, but, but obviously finding the opportunities to get after them defensively. With the ball, uh, as I said, we, we, have to, um, we have to stress them. We have to stress their back line. We have to move them and, and certainly... Um, you know, tire them out to some degree. There's a lot of games for a lot of teams in a short amount of time, so utilizing the ball when we can, but being really, really purposeful in front of goal. Whenever it's a rivalry game, the intensity is just a little higher. You know, you, tackles are a little harder, uh, passing's a little crisper, the intensity is just, you know, a little, a little more. Um, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun to get out there and be part of this rivalry again. But we need to focus on us and what we can do to get three points at home because I think it's, um, it's much needed for us. When the schedule gets released, you always look for those derby games in, in Texas, um, Houston and Dallas. Last year, obviously, we we knocked them out of the the playoffs too. So I'm sure they're gonna come come in with a bit of bite and wanting to get revenge. They're coming into Q2, and that's that's our fortress. So gonna try to get the three points. That's it.